this is the live viewing screen of the Lorex app on an Android device. You can disconnect the camera, take a snapshot, activate the two-way audio function, note an external speaker is required and is not included, and you also have the video information. To playback video recorded on the camera's micro SD card from the camera list, press the blue arrow, tap SD card playback, select the date, and then select the file. To adjust other camera settings, tap the camera list, and then tap the blue arrow again. For your stream settings, select your bandwidth, select auto on and off, your resolution settings and your frame rate, and also turning on and off your microphone. Under video settings, for video, choose your video color, your brightness, your sharpness, your low light sensitivity, your environment, your preference of the image quality, the time display on the video on and off, and the video flip to be normal or flipped. Under control, configure the status of the LED, normal, always turned off or turned off. Your motion sensitivity, Under night mode control, select the current status of the day, auto, schedule, or manual. And also to view your camera info as well. The model index, connected users, NAS recording, SD recording, and the firmware version. Under alarm notification, Enable or disable video motion detection, sound detection, the sound sensitivity level. Enable or disable your passive infrared motion detection. Under your camera settings, view the internet connection information, so your registration status, your IP address, network type, MAC address, and your Wi-Fi MAC address. Under network, see our wired network connections. Choose between DHCP and static IP address. Under Wi-Fi networks, you can see the Wi-Fi configurations and which Wi-Fi network we're connected to. Under Advanced, we see the power over Ethernet if available. Under Schedule, we can configure our email alarm settings, turn on and off the email trigger. Speaker alarm settings, turn on and off our speaker alarm trigger. Schedule settings, add and create a schedule, different time periods, and also our SD card settings. Choose to have it enabled or disabled, scheduled or always recording, and to either continuously record when the disk space is full or to stop recording. We also can see the SD card information. And last, we have our admin. Configure the date and time settings. Choose the time zone you're in and the current time and the system uptime. We can upgrade the app software and the camera, and we can also reboot the camera. Until next time, thanks for watching.